Hi everyone, it's me Kath and today I'm talking Temerai Spoilers Part 2. If you haven't seen the first part, I will link that up here for you to check out. If you haven't read Temerai at all, then I should have a spoiler free review for you to check out because this is full of spoilers, in case you hadn't already guessed. Okay, so, so the first part of this was basically just me gushing about how much, how much I adore Will and Temerai because I would die for them and I don't want this part to be the same so I will, I'm allocating myself just these first couple of minutes to talk about how much I still love them and then we'll move on because I love them so much I just everything they do just makes me love them more and I am so scared for their safety so so scared um but I, they adore each other so much and it's so clear and the specific moment that, well there's there's a couple of moments um but the main one is not long after they arrived at Loch Lagan and uh Tamara has been for his first feed with all the dragons together and Will comes out to clean you know, to take him to to clean him and it becomes very clear to to Will that something's wrong with Temeraire. He stopped short on his first clear look at Temeraire. The dragon looked strangely downcast, a marked difference from his happy attitude at the conclusion of the morning's work, and Lawrence hurried to his side. Are you not feeling well, Lawrence asked, inspecting his jaws, but Temeraire was bloodstained and messy from his meal and looked to have eaten well. Did something you ate disagree with you? No, I am perfectly well, Tamara said. It is only... Lawrence, I am a proper dragon, am I not? Lawrence stared. The note of uncertainty in Tamara's voice was wholly new. As a proper dragon as there is in the world, what on earth would make you ask such a question? Has anyone said anything unkind to you? A quick surge of temper was rising in him already at the mere possibility. The aviators might look at him askance and say what they liked, but he was not going to tolerate anyone making remarks to Temeraire. Oh, no, Temeraire said, but in a way that made Lawrence doubt the words. No one was unkind, but they could not help noticing, while we were all feeding, that I do not look quite like the rest of them. They are all much more brightly coloured than I am, and their wings do not have so many joints. Also, they have those ridges along their backs, and mine is plain, and I have more talons on my feet. He turned and inspected himself as he catalogued these differences. So they looked at me a little oddly, but no one was unkind. I suppose it's because I am a Chinese dragon. And that, 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 he's so insecure about himself, because up until this point, obviously, he's only seen a couple of other dragons and now that he's with loads more dragons it's become clear to him that he is quite different and that breaks my heart and it breaks Will's heart so much that he decides that he's going to buy him a um, a sort of nice pretty collar for him to wear to make him feel uh, a bit more special and that that I love them so 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 much and I I mean I think it's it, it becomes a bit clear later on that perhaps that affection might cause problems in the future because uh, Temeraire is unwilling to uh, to let any harm come to Will even if that means uh, causing harm to inadvertently uh, causing harm to others because they have to they're tasked um, pretty soon in our, well they're tasked to um, help bring in an injured dragon because they're big dragons and they can carry his weight um, but while Temeraire is doing it in the process Temeraire gets uh, gets injured and his harness comes loose and Will has to try and fix it but in doing so he loses his own grip and he nearly falls and Temeraire um, despite the fact that him doing so would have toppled the whole thing and probably killed if not seriously injured um a load of other people including the dragon he's supposed to be carrying um he was going to catch will regardless and will had a word with him and he says i can't promise that because will asked him obviously will asks him to promise uh, to 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 not do that but tamara's like no like nobody else in this world is worth more to me than you are 
and while that's very touching and heartwarming and so precious also that that could pose a problem um later down the line because if will hadn't have if 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 it hadn't worked out then you know that would have caused a lot of problems and you know that still might somewhere along the line so that's something to keep an eye on but overall i just love them so much i love them so much and i don't want anything bad to happen to either of them but it's going to like it's gonna it's absolutely gonna but you know i just have to prepare myself for when that does arrive so now that that's out of the way, now that that's out of the way, I'll talk about some, some some different things. So in this section, so part two is quite a bit longer than part one was because um, we get quite a bit more in. Um, but we see Will return home um, for a, a brief stop off on their way to Loch Lagan, just as a rest. Um, but he stopped at his house because he wasn't expecting anyone to be there. But <laughs> unfortunately, his parents seem to be having a bit of a party so in he goes gets dressed gets bait well gets washed and dressed and goes down to present himself to everybody leaving um Timurea out in some old paddock i think uh and you know uh the core isn't aviators aren't really i guess looked at with any um it's not like being a, a naval officer or part of the regular army. Uh, I think the core are sort of it's a bit of a they're a bit of a weird bunch, and people uh, treat them as such. So while everyone's perfectly polite most of the time, um, it's a bit of a cold welcome for him. His dad is very not happy because after the party's over, his dad has a word with him, and he well he's basically he, he all but disowns him. he doesn't actually disown him but he makes it very clear that this is not he's not happy with it he's not happy with it and the whole thing would have been pretty upsetting was it not for that last moment he had with his mother because he comes down for breakfast the next morning when he's leaving and um he takes his mum out to see Temeraire and she it's such a lovely moment to see because after that bit with his dad and also um he has a chat with his lady friend i think she was called edith not 100 percent and i mean he wasn't very um he sort of tried to make out that it was her fault when she's like you know what feelings because when when he's like you know i'll understand if if you your feelings have changed and she's like feelings have nothing to do with this you could have had a nice, um, safe, steady living working for the church and that would have provided her a home, a steady home um, with a present husband. Instead he chose a navy and you know what, she, she, she accepted that. She accepted that that's what it was going to be and then now he's joining the core. Like the feelings aren't, it's not about feelings. She can't wait for him and she shouldn't have to wait for him. You know, and he the, the amount of time he would have to put into Temeraire because Temeraire is not just a part-time thing and we see what a part-time aviator looks like and it's not it's not nice at all um, later on when we're introduced to him, a prick. Uh, so it's not fair on Temeraire and it's not fair on for him to ask or expect her to wait for him or to, 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 to put aside what she currently has to have what little of a life they would have together like it's not fair so that obviously a bit of ends a bit of a it's a bit a bit, bit of a sour note to end their relationship on but you know what she's not she's not wrong in what she decided to do and will understands that and you know this whole this whole visit that was supposed no one's supposed to be there but this whole visit is just seeming to be a bit of a downer and not doing great great things for his morale but then but then he takes his mum out to see Temeraire and they I mean, for the few minutes that they stand talking to her she gets on swimmingly with him once she gets over the initial fear because um, obviously he's a big dragon she's never seen a dragon in real life before and um, but then she touches him and talks to him and she tells him to take care of Will and it's such a beautiful moment that I adored 
outside of the moments with Will and Tamara together, that is one definitely one of my favourites. Um, and then Will takes off and that's grand. But I just, because it could have ended all bad. It could have been all bad. But instead, it, it ended on a happy note. Because obviously his mum, she's probably just worried about him. Like, you know what I mean? But I just, I really enjoyed that moment. Really enjoyed it. Loved it. Probably not going to get to see many more moments like that in the future. Speaking of the part-time aviator, Will does not make the best first impression when he arrives. Um, and I mean, he did he did the best that he could with the situation that was handed to him. It's just that the, 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 the situation handed him at someone who was a bit, just a bit of an arse. Um, because one of the first people he meets is probably, we were assuming, a close friend of um, the guy who Temeraire refused uh, to, to, to let ride him, uh, which, you know, fair dues. But that guy was a bit of an arse. Will, obviously, his temper got the best of him and he um, pulled rank, basically, and that didn't go down so well with told Granby, the guy's name, um, and then we're introduced to, uh, is he Captain Rankin, who we can see pretty much from the get-go that this guy's an arsehole because he sits down, he introduces himself to, um, Will at the table and he's a, he's a, a gentleman. He's from a, 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 a family with a fair bit of uh, money behind them and he acts like it and he he nobody seems to really talk to him and because will has uh sort of been outcast uh himself he feels a bit of an outsider he immediately sort of like latches on to ranking who uh takes an interest in him and you know there's something not quite right with him you know he's not the, the same as the other aviators um but you just sort of, you know what, just sort of shrug it off. Will's made a friend. He could have made a better friend, but he's made a friend nonetheless. And then we find out that his dragon uh, is a dragon that Will has been sort of like, that Will's sort of like half adopted. Like he can't fully adopt him because it's not his dragon. His dragon, this dragon has a, a, a rider of his own and that's Levitas who we first meet um, on their first evening together. And Levitas is adorable, but um, it's because uh, Temeraire's had his harness taken off and he's had a bath and everything. And then Levitas was like, you know, I wouldn't, would you be able to take my harness off? And Will probably quite rightly was like, I, that's probably something to do with your captain, but I don't see why we can't tidy you up a bit because he's got blood uh, caked on it and it looks like it's not been taken very good care of so uh, Will takes it upon himself to get the crew who do all that stuff to to, the, to maintain it to give him you know a bit of a bit of a clean bit of a rub his harness up a bit and uh, they sort of befriend Levitas and he helps them out every once in a while carrying some of the the, the kids who have taken a shine to Temeraire uh, down to the to lake to help bathe him and when Will asks, you know, where is your captain? And he's like, oh, I haven't seen him in a few days or whatever. He's probably fine. And you sort of, when you first see that, you probably think, oh, he's maybe, is his rider dead and nobody knows yet? Is that, you know, is something holding him up? But no, then you find out it's Rankin and it's not that, that, that he's been held up or anything. It's just that Rankin's been doing whatever the hell he feels like doing that's not taking care of his dragon. And, uh, like, Levitas, that put like, because he... he, he it's basically an abusive relationship and uh, 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 the way Rankin treats him and the way he talks about him, because he only ever referred to him as his beast, he never referred to him by name, so that's why you don't find out till later and why Will didn't realise that his dragon was Levitas and it's... It's horrible because he talked about, like, oh, when Will confessed his uh, concerns about Temeraire being upset, Rankin was like, oh, well, you know, I just, whenever mine's upset, I just, you know, I, I'm, I'm not 100% sure if this is right, but I, I'll probably check. But I'm pretty sure if he, 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 he says it's like 
they're like women. You know, you just chuck a bauble at them and they'll, you know, they'll they'll be happy. And, oh God, he gets me so mad. But Levitas looks so happy whenever he sees him. Like he cheers right up and he comes to see him and it's, it's, it's horrible. It's fucking horrible. Because it's clear, like when, um, because the, the, the collar thing that Will wants to get for um, Temeraire, Rankin says they'll give him a lift to somewhere because he wants it to be a surprise, but he doesn't obviously want to take Temeraire. Um, so Will says they'll give him a lift and that's when we find out that he's Dragon's Levitas. But then when they get there, Levitas is like, oh, I'm a bit hungry, I'm a bit, you know, I need a, 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 a bit of something to eat. Le- Rankin was like, I, he just said, well, he, ba- he basically says no, he refuses. And um, when he says he's a bit thirsty, Will jumps in before Rankin can say anything. He's like, yeah, of course, let's get him something to drink. And Will has a word with Rankin about it, but Rankin's like, you know, he needs to learn. He needs to be that, you know, sometimes we don't have, uh, you don't, you don't, you won't be able to eat and you need to learn to, 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 to perform on uh, while you're still hungry. And Will's like, well, yeah, but like most people perform better when they haven't, when they don't have to endure it for no reason. And it's just like, oh God. And then he, 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 it seems to be fine. Like he doesn't mind that Will's sort of like been taking care of him on the sly until they get back from a wash and Rankin's like, uh, where have you been? And uh, Will's like, well, you know, he was, he would just, we would just, helping me take, because Temeraire was injured, so Temeraire couldn't carry everybody. So Levitas, you know, so they used Levitas, and Levitas was fine with it. And uh, Will was like, well, we were just at the lake, if you'd sent a signal or something, we'd have come straight back. And Rankin was like, well, I'd, I shouldn't have to send signal when running around for my dragon, who should be waiting for me. And then he complains and that they can't interfere with Levitas anymore. And it's fucking heartbreaking. And I hope he dies. I hope he dies. Because I don't think Levitas is ever going to stand up to him. Because I think if Levitas just refused, he could probably have a new captain. But this is all he's known. This is all he's known. And it's horrible and heartbreaking. And I really hope... I hope it gets better for him. I really do. Because I just... No, he's so precious. And so... He deserves so much better. And I'm just... I'm, I'm so mad that Rankin's allowed to be, and even the other dragons and the other aviators, they all hate him, and for good reason, and Levitas is the only one, and it's horrible. It's really horrible. Oh, and something I did mention uh, in the first part was like, how did how did Temeraire come out of the egg? Uh, already speaking, is did I, did the, do they learn in the egg? And you find out in this part that they do learn in the egg, because Temeraire, because they on while they're out uh, on you know when they they they're finally flying out to to action or whatever no it's while they're out practicing formations and things and whatnot um uh, we're introduced to a new dragon and a new aviator who are French who are um, I guess they were they think uh, they were loyal to the um to the to the to the the, the loyal to the, the the royal family um who obviously all been you know this is this is the revolution um and so they've obviously fled france and joined the enemy as such so we meet a french aviator and a dragon who speaks french and then Temeraire suddenly starts speaking french to this dragon and will's like whoa when the hell did you learn french and um is it celeritas the main dragon was like i'm not surprised that he speaks french i'm more surprised that you haven't um heard him speaking it before because he was originally on a French ship, so he would have been exposed in in the egg. He would have been exposed to French. So when he came out of the egg, um, it wouldn't have been uh, uh, unusual to have heard him speak French. So I was right. They're ex- they 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 learn while they're in the egg, whatever language they're exposed to. That's the language that they speak. And because Temeraire has been exposed to both French and English, he can speak both French and English. And like, but the thing is though, even if that's the case, like the fact that they can come out speaking it fluently, that's really like, that's amazing. Because 
Like they must be able to hear then in the egg. Like they must be sort of like, at least, uh, I don't know, because obviously they must be sort of uh, 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 aware of 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 what they're hearing in their language and like how 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 that works. That's at least that's really interesting to me. Like how they learn because it's it it's not just vocabulary they're they're fully they can they can the the grammar's all there everything's all there they already know it all and they learn it all in the egg and i mean he was only on the their ship uh, will ship for a few weeks in fact they were on the ship three weeks from when they captured the egg took the egg from the french and temeraire hatched after the first week, second week, I think I think it was part way through the second week maybe. Um, so it was really only on there for like two weeks max, for, and he picked up English, well, he, like that, like that's amazing. Like that, they it shows how like how intelligent dragons are. Like they're not stupid, um, but it's just amazing how they absorb the language in the egg. Like how they pick it up and how they just speak it. And like Temeraire, who hasn't spoken French since breaking out of the egg. Like, well, he hasn't spoken French at all. Um, and it's been weeks, m probably months even. And then he meets this French dragon and just speaks French like it's nothing. And that's amazing. Like, I wish... Oh, God. God, I wish it was that easy. Like, you know, just be exposed in the womb to the language and then you come out speaking. Like, they come out with the ability to speak. And that's amazing really amazing and even after not using that language he still Temeraire still has that knowledge in there it's still in his brain like he doesn't have to use it um otherwise he'd forget like we do use it or lose it and i that's just, just that's just just think that's really cool i just think that's really cool and then we end the part on um them being told that they are uh, they, they can go take part in the they go be a part of the 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 war now that they're uh, needed and we'll, it's left there for part three uh which means part three if anything bad is going to happen it's going to be in part three and i'm terrified but you know it can't be helped it's gotta it's gotta be done but that about sums it up. That's about everything I wanted to mention, to talk about, to bring up. Um, and I am dreading, dreading part three. But, but that'll be another video, all being well. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below some of your thoughts and I will hopefully see you in another video. Bye. It's back to front on there. I mean, I should have. Catherine, you're looking at it. It's like a fucking mirror, you idiot.